What is up all you knife nuts? Today is Thursday. Actually, today's Monday because that's the day I'm filming. It's a beautiful rainy Memorial Day. But you're seeing this video on Thursday. So today is Thursday. And today is one of the last days of Survive Week. We've we featured a new Survive knife, the GSO5 or 4. Uh, the 5.1 or 4.5 uh, throughout the week. Uh, today we're going to talk about the largest and heaviest knife we've ever done uh, for any video on Northwest Knives. So um, we're really excited about it. First, uh, before we get too deep into to the knife, I want to apologize for my voice. Uh, congratulations to my oldest son, Cade. He just graduated high school, so there was a lot of cheering and yelling the other night, and uh, my voice is paying for it. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, number one, number two, uh, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe on here. It really helps us out. Uh, really we're trying to move things along with our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, that kind of thing. You've heard the spiel before. So, uh, just give us a like and subscribe. Uh, really does help us out guys. Uh, let us know what you think about, uh, not only this knife, but any knife really. Uh, but let us know what you think. So. With that being said, let's get the intro out of the way and we'll get into the uh, the elephant that I have sitting in front of me. Here we go. Okay, so uh, I'm going to minimize you to the main camera and we're gonna fast forward through the opening of the box because there's a lot of paper in here. So uh, let's get that done now. Okay, we're all familiar with Survive. Uh, if you're not, I urge you to get familiar with Survive. Uh, he makes, hands down, the best outdoor knife on the market. If you watched the video earlier, if not, uh, I'm gonna post a link so you can watch it right here. And uh, watch that video, it's, it's Aaron and Tack kind of breaking down the knives talking about all the features of, of everything and what they like. Um, I love the fact that, that in the knife, he does the exact same features through every sheath. So every sheath features the exact same setup for mounting, uh, the same clip. It's got this awesome, enormous weep hole on both sides. So you don't have to worry about water pooling up and rusting your knife out. Uh, super fantastic. Really, really nice, thick Kydex, really well polished edges. Uh, Kydex, like Aaron and Tack talked about in the video I just mentioned, uh, a lot of companies will skimp out on their sheaths, it seems. You know, so you pay a lot of money for a knife and you get this exceptional knife, but you don't get an exceptional sheath. Uh, that's not the case with Survive. Um, <laughs> the sheath by itself is worth its own video. Uh, but we're here for the knife, so that is only a half of the, the knife. So let's go ahead and unsheath this bad boy so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so here is the GSO 12. I don't even think I can fit that all in the frame. I'm going to do my best. Okay, so we're going to talk about it at an angle. I'm going to set the sheath down over here. So I don't knock it off the table. So incredibly well done. Uh, the the tungsten Cerakote tungsten with the the uh, brown burlap micarta. Or I'm sorry, the brown micarta. Super nice. Love the palm swells. Let's get this a little bit closer so you can see it. Super super wide grip. So you're not really fatigued when you're using a knife. It fills the hand quite well. Um, I love the exposed pommel, the jimping on the pommel here. So if you have to reverse grip it, which I don't know why you'd reverse grip a, a, a machete, uh, but you can, I gotta be careful not to cut myself. You can reverse grip the knife, right? Here's the uh, little shot of the lanyard. So you can put a lanyard down in here. Super cool design. It's difficult to shoot this knife, guys. <laughs> this is uh, 
this is daunting <laughs> wielding this sword around my office uh, so there you can see the pommel and the, the lanyard hole the matching hardware uh, just a beautiful beautiful design uh, all of his handles on the GSO series kind of follow the same pattern uh, lots of grip uh, lots of room to to choke up on the knife with that big deep deep finger choil Something that's really cool about this this 12 inch that he doesn't typically do uh, for the other ones, some of the smaller ones like the, the 4.5 and the, the 5.1 that we have in stock, is he's got the forward lanyard hole. So you can do a nice forward lanyard, uh, wrap it around your wrist. It gives you a lot of leverage when you're coming down and chopping. Uh, it's super cool. I really, I really think that's a that's a great, great design there. Uh, this thing is just absolutely razor sharp razor sharp i bet you i bet you i could shave with it oh yeah that's stinking sharp guys holy cow for a machete machetes aren't normally that sharp uh this machete is like a razor and it's in my favorite steel so uh Anybody that spent any time talking to me in the store, answering questions on social media, anything like that, knows that I absolutely 100% love 3V. 3V the world. I would pay through the nose for like a 3V Chris Reeve or um, a, a anything, anything 3V. I, I'm happier in a pig and mud. So this is 3V. Uh, as, as of right now, as far as I know... All of Guy's Knives from Survive, they're all 3V. Uh, and this is, like I said before, it's got the tungsten Cerakote. Uh, this is just a huge piece of steel. See how big it is compared to just my finger? I would, it's enormous. Uh, some of the specs on this knife, which are astonishing that they are this large. Uh, let's, let's break that down really quick. So this blade length is 11.93 inches from sharpening choil to tip. Okay, that's huge. That's a foot of cutting edge. Overall length is 17.81. So from tip to pommel, I have to move it into frame so you can see the pommel. Weight, guys, the weight of this knife is 1.14 pounds. So almost two pounds, just shy of two pounds. This thing is just incredible. I would love to go out in the bush and do some chopping, uh, limbing, uh, campsite prep. Like you, you wouldn't even need an ax with this thing. You could go out and you could take down a tree and then you can disassemble it and do your firewood with just this knife alone. This is incredible. I... I want it for reasons, of course. Uh, a, it's a survive knife, but B, it's the it's the twelve. I mean, this thing is just massive. It's it's like I said before, it's very daunting uh, doing an unboxing video of a knife this large in such a small office with you know thousands of dollars of camera equipment and microphones and stuff sitting next to me. <laughs> uh, super awesome knife. Uh, engraving the American flag, so every one he does, uh, just to let you know, he is a local Idaho, 100% American-made knife maker. None of his stuff is done overseas and then put together. It's all done here. Peterson Heat Treat does his, his heat treat. Um, so this is anywhere from a 68 to, I'm sorry, a 58 to 62, I believe, for the 3V. Um, you can see right here he's got his logo lasered into the blade, uh, CPM 3V and Peterson Heat Treat. There's still hair on this from shaving. <laughs> uh, everything is done in-house at Survive, obviously minus the Heat Treat, that's sent off to um, Peterson. Uh, this knife is exceptional, 10 out of 10. It It's a little big, It like I said, it's um, it scares me a little bit to have this uh, swinging around the camera. But uh, forward grip is super, super comfortable. Um, 
I do notice that on the palm swell when you forward grip it, the palm swell is a little, uh, it's just got like an awkward spot for the finger. Um, it's, it's a little tough to, to get comfortable on a knife this big when you're, when you're pinched up like that, flip it over so you can kind of see, uh, and I have, I have big hands, so it's, it's kind of hard to show on camera, uh, but sitting back on the handle is just really, really, really comfortable, really comfortable sitting back on the handle. That palm swell is nice. You're not going to get a lot of fatigue using this uh, in the hand. In the arm, however, being as it, it's almost two pounds, uh, you're going to get a lot of you, you're going to get a good workout swinging this bad boy around. What's really also cool about it is this forward blade design, right? The way he's done this this big kind of almost recurve here. Um, what that's going to do is that's going to give you a lot of leverage when chopping. Uh, so it's going to make the knife do its job easier. It's going to kind of point everything forward. Sorry about the microphone rub. It's going to help point everything forward when you're, when you're chopping at it. Um, limbs, blackberry bushes, like Aaron mentioned, um, when you're splitting wood with it. I mean, when you're using it as a splitting maul, this is, this is a big knife guys, big, big knife. Biggest one we've ever done here at Northwest Knives for rebox or unboxing. Uh, I'm super, super excited that we have Survive in. Um, the Survive brand, and I've said this to anybody that will ask me, I have other brands that I like to use. I've owned a few Survive. There is nothing nicer than Survive on the market as far as an outdoor knife goes. From his uh, little three inches, little three inch blades, the 4.5, the 5.1. Uh, there honestly is absolutely not a nicer knife. Uh, guy's attention to detail is is unbeatable. Um, you will not, honestly, you won't be able to find a flaw on the knife when you get it. And if you do, uh, I would be interested to hear what it is because... Uh, I've gone over a lot of these knives as they come out of the box because I do all the all the social media posts, all the all the photos for social media, and I have not found a single flaw on any one of these knives. They are 100% perfect. The handles match up to the, the pommel well, like it's just everything is contoured perfectly. There's no sharp edges, no... Uh, except for the blade. <laughs> Obviously, the blade's going to be super sharp. Uh, the spine's got a nice 90 degree, but it's not to the point where like you feel you're going to cut yourself on it. You could probably still do some small uh, feather sticking with this if you had to use this specific knife as your one and only bushcrafting knife. Um, you're going to get fatigued carrying it around because it's so dang heavy. Hopefully, you're not counting on any weight saving. Because there goes all your savings in this one knife. But uh, Jim and Christmas, this thing is just a beast. Uh, all the plunges are just symmetrical as can be. Grind heights are, the, are symmetrical. Uh, yeah, this knife is an absolute beautiful knife. It's really, really well balanced. Um, for the money, you're not going to find a better machete out there. Uh, anybody that's going... Uh, overseas, um, say you're going, you know, uh, in the jungle, you're going over, you're deploying overseas, anything like that, man, this would be something I would consider putting on your kit or having with you when, um, you're out in the bush, in the jungle and in, in anywhere really. I mean, you can go out in the, in the woods of Idaho and, uh, take this bad boy with you and you're not going to need to carry an ax it's small enough where you could probably get some good like bushcrafting work done with it. Um, yeah, man, this thing's just, it's an absolute monster. I really think this thing's cool. Uh, we have two in stock currently. Just two. This one and one other one uh, with a red handle. And I'm not sure when we're getting more of them. But when we do sell out, you're going to want to sign up for the email to be notified when they're back in stock. Keep checking the website. This thing is a 
beast. I mean, an absolute unit. I definitely, definitely, definitely am considering buying one of these and just keep it in my rig for when I go out camping. Uh, cause I don't want to have to carry around an ax and a bushcraft knife and a, you know, a splitting mall and all that. You can literally use this for everything. Uh, so come by the shop, check it out. Um, <laughs> this thing is cool, man. This thing's super, super cool. So, uh, don't forget, give us a like and subscribe. Uh, follow us here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, head to the website, sign up for email, sign up for rewards points. If you don't know about those, hit me with a message and I'll, I'll explain them to you. Um, more than happy to, uh, to answer any questions you guys have. So, uh, again, guys, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing video and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.